Prince Harry and Meghan Markle's daughter, baby Lilibeth, turned one-year-old on June 4. The entire Sussex family is now in the United Kingdom. According to insiders, Harry and Meghan intend to organize a modest celebration in honor of their daughter at Frogmore House. Senior members of the royal family have not been invited. However, Elizabeth II, Prince Charles and Duchess Camilla, Prince William and Kate Middleton shared touching congratulations to Lilibeth on social media. We wish Lilibeth a happy first birthday, the Prince of Wales and his wife wrote, accompanying the message with a smiley face in the form of a cake. An almost identical post also appeared on the Queen's official account. It is worth noting that Prince Harry and Meghan Markle carefully guard the privacy of their children. Contrary to expectations, they did not publish a new photo of their daughter on the day she was born. Also, the Duke and Duchess of Sussex have not been seen in public with their son, three-year-old Archie, although the boy is now in the UK with his parents. One can only learn about him from the stories of Harry and Meghan's close friends. For example, one of them, hairstylist Jeroge Northwood, noted that Archie is the sweetest, most well-behaved boy in the world and that Lilibeth is beautiful. The Queen, who has cancelled some official visits as part of her jubilee celebrations, is expected to see her great-granddaughter on her birthday because the Sussex family will be flying back to the United States in a couple of days. Prince William gave a moving speech at the unveiling of the Glade of Light Memorial for the victims of the terrorist attack at Ariana Grande's 2017 concert in Manchester and offered words of condolence to the families of the victims. The Duke of Cambridge was accompanied at the event by his wife, Kate Middleton. The Prince delivered a poignant address to guests. He could barely hold back tears as he recounted the bitterness of losing loved ones, recalling his own experience. William's mother, Princess Diana, died in a horrific car accident in 1997 when the Prince was just 15 years old. Catherine and I know that the effects of the atrocity will last a lifetime and longer and that the healing process is still ongoing. As someone who lives with his grief, I know full well that it is important for those who are grieving that those we have lost are not forgotten, Prince William pronounced. There is comfort in remembering. In the recognition that, despite the terrible deaths, our loved ones still live on in our memories. 127.00.1 Today was a truly historic day for Prince Charles, who gave his first solemn speech during the traditional opening ceremony of the British Parliament. It is worth noting that the event was also attended by his wife Camilla Parker Bowles and son Prince William. It is known that the celebration took place in Westminster Abbey, and before the meeting the British authorities were notified that Elizabeth II will not attend the ceremony due to health problems. At Her Majesty's request and the consent of the authorities, the Prince of Wales will give a speech on behalf of the Queen. The Duke of Cambridge will also be present, Buckingham Palace said. Before the ceremony began, Prince Charles took his seat on the consort throne and the sovereign throne, which is usually occupied by the Queen, was removed from the hall. It is worth noting that Prince William took a seat to his father's right, while Camilla Parker Bowles positioned herself to her husband's left. My lords, please be seated. Her Majesty prays that the blessings of Almighty God may rest on your councils, Prince Charles said during his speech. The Prince of Wales concluded his speech by saying how excited, happy and proud the Queen is to celebrate her Platinum Jubilee. The Prince also mentioned the upcoming Commonwealth Games, which will take place this August. An excerpt from the national anthem God Save the Queen was played as Prince Charles, Camilla Parker Bowles, Prince William, and the monarch's royal secretary, Edward Young, left Parliament. Of course, the event lacked the presence of Elizabeth II, but she was advised to manage her powers wisely, because there was a series of important events ahead. By the way, representatives of the palace noted that, despite Her Majesty's absence at the opening of Parliament, the Queen continues to attend to her duties at Windsor Castle. It seems that Meghan Markle is going to give battle to Queen Elizabeth II and compete with her statuses. It is worth noting that the Duchess may succeed, because the sister of the current President of the United States, Joe Biden invited the Duchess to join the Democratic Party, and then all ready to run for election in 2024. Certainly, the policy and behavior of the present USA President, to put it mildly, is strange and incomprehensible. Probably for this reason Valerie Biden Owens, 76 years old, decided that such posts should be occupied by the person, who at least is in sober mind, memory and is not lost in space. However, Joe Biden's sister did not criticize her relative, but only noted that Meghan is a young and promising woman, and there should be many more such people in politics. In addition, for 10 years, the Biden family has been in close contact with Prince Harry, and now the Duchess herself has decided to take advantage of the connection. It's wonderful that there are more women in politics. The more women there are, the better the democratic system will work. 
We invite Meghan to become part of that system and the Democratic Party, Owen said. Valerie also called Meghan a good candidate for president. The politician didn't forget to talk about the campaign that Joe Biden is currently running. Of course, Valerie didn't criticize her brother for serious mistakes and noted that he will run for president in 2024 as well. It's worth noting that Republicans have long accused Joe Biden of being profoundly unfit, especially horrified by his psychic health. He tells the truth. Sometimes he's wrong, but I would call it an oversight, Valerie commented on her brother's behavior. However, Owens also said she wasn't thrilled with Biden and Trump's protesting of the 2020 election, because it destroyed part of their family. I didn't like the fact that he was running against the former president because I think Trump was out to destroy my brother and my family. Joe is the right man and he has things left to do that he needs to see through. Americans know who Joe is, Valerie said proudly, turning a blind eye to her brother's fatal missteps and the opinion of the public. By the way, it was Owens who was a senior advisor to Baden's presidential campaign in 2020, and now they will continue their collaboration in the upcoming election in 2024. Less than a month remains before the main celebration for all Britons, the Trooping the Colour Parade in honour of the Queen of Great Britain's birthday. Who will join Her Majesty on the balcony of Buckingham Palace was announced yesterday by a palace official. The Queen has decided that this year's traditional Trooping the Colour balcony appearance on Thursday, June 2nd, will be limited to Her Majesty and those members of the royal family who are currently performing official public duties on behalf of the Queen. Seventeen members of the royal family will appear in public with the Queen that day. They include Prince Charles and Duchess Camilla, Prince William and Kate Middleton with George, Charlotte, and Louis, Elizabeth's youngest son Prince Edward with his wife Sophia and children Louisa and James. As well as Princess Anne and her husband, Vice Admiral Sir Tim Lawrence, the Duke and Duchess of Gloucester, the Duke of Kent and Princess Alexandra. The scandal plagued Prince Andrew, who is about to lose his status as Duke, is not invited. Neither are his daughters, Princess Beatrice and Princess Eugenie. Elizabeth's grandson Prince Harry and Meghan Markle are not on the royal lists either, they laid down their royal obligations back in 2020. However, the reunion of the royal family may still take place. Minutes after the announcement of the Queen's will, Meghan Markle and Prince Harry made their statement, in which they confirmed that they would attend the celebrations. And not alone, baby Lilibeth will come to London with them for the first time. And Elizabeth II will be able to finally meet her great-granddaughter. Prince Harry and Meghan, the Duke and Duchess of Sussex are thrilled and proud to be attending the Queen's Platinum Jubilee celebration in June with their children, a spokesperson for the couple said. Harry and Meghan are expected to appear at the church service at St. Paul's Cathedral. But those close to the royal family do not rule out that the couple may also go out on the balcony of Buckingham Palace, contrary to the original plans. But the Queen wants the family to present a united front. There is a huge amount of effort going on behind the scenes to make that happen, insiders report. The traditional opening ceremony of the new session of the British Parliament will take place today. However, for the first time in her reign, the 96-year-old Queen Elizabeth II will not be able to attend the official part of the event. Being of advanced age, she has become immobilized and, according to officials, has some difficulty in moving around. The Queen continues to have occasional mobility problems and, after consulting her doctors, has reluctantly decided that she will not attend tomorrow's state opening of Parliament said an official statement from Buckingham Palace. The throne speech on behalf of Her Majesty will be delivered by her son, 73-year-old Prince Charles, who will assume the primary constitutional responsibility of head of state for the first time. The decision is considered unprecedented in modern history. The Queen's grandson, 39-year-old Prince William, is also scheduled to appear at the opening of Parliament as a state advisor. Also, it has recently become known that Her Majesty will not be able to attend events on the occasion of the celebration of the 70th anniversary of her own rule. Other members of the royal family will go to different countries of the United Kingdom, and Prince William and Kate Middleton will lead the celebration of the anniversary. Recall that last May the Queen attended the opening ceremony of the new session of Parliament in London for the last time. It was Elizabeth's first public appearance since the funeral of her husband, Prince Philip, 